So I think the summary of this afternoon is uh, that uh, our societies are not tackling uh, well with uh, the environmental crises and, and our governments are, are not suitable uh, for, for uh, ensuring future generations right. And I would like to, to prove it uh, uh, through a couple of examples. So uh, I take the three major uh, uh, catastrophe situations where uh, humankind, the slide please, where humankind has uh, crossed the red line where uh, the procedures are, uh, has, has gone too far and uh, are irreversibly. Irre irreversible. So you see a biodiversity loss, which is a very bad situation, climate change, and uh, the nitrogenous cycle of arable lands, so the fer fertility of, of uh, our soils. Uh, um, the first uh, issue is climate change. We heard uh, a lot of uh, talks about it. And I, I agree with, with the previous speakers that uh, uh, our societies try, first, if you remember 10, 15 years ago, first we tried to deny it. Oh, it doesn't exist. It's just the invention of some silly scientist. No, we, we uh, agree, OK, there might be some uh, signs, but, but not here, not here. We try to shift it. That's a psychological, uh, um, mass psychology. Uh, 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 trick, uh, not here, a shift. Uh, we, we try to protect our world and our, our uh, convenience. So, uh, okay, climate change might exist, but not here and, and not no. And if here and no, it might be quite pleasant. So, uh, <laughs> let's see the, the uh, next one. We see, we see the signs, you know, so the melting uh, icebergs, uh, the, the melting glaciers, you know, nice pictures uh, uh, taken, let's say, 50 years ago, and, and, and uh, the, the same picture, no, and we see the disappearing uh, glaciers. And they will have a lot of consequences. Um, they will lead to, to famine, uh, they will lead to mass migration, and they will uh, lead to, to wars. Uh, and what's uh, the, the response of, of the governments? The response of the governments, I think, the worst we can uh, imagine. Uh, the ministries, the defense ministries, uh, the military forces started to deal with the issue. If you read uh, the news about the Pentagon uh, uh, reports a couple of years ago, uh, so I think that's the end of the world when, when soldiers start to deal with environmental protection. I, I, I don't like it uh, at all. Um, the other uh, issue, uh, what uh, I, 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 I like to, uh, to deal with uh, and, and show that uh, our social uh, self-defense uh, is weak and, and our governments are not so serving uh, the best purposes, uh, uh, is uh, the, the food. Um, I think uh, very few knows that more than 50% of the uh, food, what uh, the food industry produces, is lost. Transport, uh, storage, and, and wasteful, uh, wasteful uh, behavior. So uh, the, the society's answer is, is quite negative. And, and uh, one uh, even more threatening uh, phenomenon is, again, psychological. We, we deny. Uh, uh, from ourselves the facts about food. Uh, yes, it's written in very, very tiny letters uh, on, on the back of, of, of the package of the food. But we don't really care what we, we eat and, and what we give to, to our families. And that's, that's, that's very threatening. So uh, our governments cannot, cannot change it. They should do much more. Uh, in connection with food safety uh, uh, and uh, in connection with, with protection of, of soils. Because uh, their uh, response is, mm, the productivity of soils uh, is uh, going down. Mm, why don't we use more chemicals for uh, uh, pesticides and, and for uh, 
uh, or artificial manures. Uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not the solution, because even if they, they raise uh, the use of, of chemicals, the, the, the crop uh, amount will, will uh, keep going down. And if, if they say, OK, uh, it's not the right solution, they might come up with an even worse solution, uh, GMOs. Uh, why don't, that's, that's the, 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 uh, the new invention. Uh, I think that some of you uh, are in the age uh, that, that uh, watched the, the Dexter Laboratory, uh, the cartoon. So many of you know. I, I wonder if you uh, uh, watched uh, that part when D.D., uh, Dexter's uh, sister, uh, went, uh, could, could find a, a her way to, to Dexter's secret laboratory. And there was a big red button with a lot of warnings, you know, uh, don't touch, extremely dangerous. And D.D. is just dancing around it and uh, notices the, the red button and says, ooh, what does this button do? <laughs> That's humankind. That's humankind in one motion. You know, uh, GMOs, we don't really know uh, the red button of, of uh, GMOs, but we try. Why not? <laughs> the, uh, our, our response, I think, uh, should be to, to save uh, the old uh, genetic heritage uh, for hundreds of years, our, our peasants, our uh, uh, agriculture could produce uh, many, many solutions for several agriculture, uh, agricultural uh, problems. And we are losing uh, this asset. And uh, we, uh, in Hungary, we had to fight with the government year by year. They did not uh, include into the uh, state budget uh, proper support for the genetic heritage. You know. Uh, and actually, uh, next slide, please. <laughs> we uh, decided, that's, that's uh, part of my, my staff, uh, our office decided to uh, start a campaign. We uh, undersigned an, a memorandum of understanding with uh, several uh, leaders of churches, Catholic churches and, and other, uh, several bishops undersigned that. And they uh, let, us, uh, to, uh, let us use uh, the, the uh, church gardens uh, for uh, uh, planting ancient trees. And they will keep an eye on it. And, and, and people, local communities, will help them uh, uh, to grow uh, these plants. And this way, we, we could uh, save, we could maintain uh, this genetical heritage. And if climate comes, climate change comes, and, and the, the just a couple of uh, uh, species we use will uh, become useless, then uh, this heritage uh, will serve us again uh, better. Um, the third one, uh, the third uh, uh, ecological uh, problem is uh, biodiversity. Many speakers uh, address that. Uh, yes, we, we, uh, we lose in every 20 minutes we lose one species, and never uh, of a plant or an animal, but never one single plant or animal, because they are uh, interconnected, like a big Jenga game. You know, we can pull out one uh, little bar, maybe another one, but at the end, the whole tower will collapse. So again, the, the, the social response to, to loss of biodiversity and loss of green spots uh, is very uh, short-sighted, very selfish. We, we people and, and our, our communities tend to say, uh, yes, I love uh, green uh, uh, spots. That's why I move there. And, and, and then it's not green anymore. We see the outskirts of the cities, the urban sprawl uh, eradicates the, the, the green belt around the, the cities. So that's not uh, a healthy uh, uh, social reaction. That's a vicious circle. Um, so I think in sum, uh, very shortly, we could see that uh, there is a system of ecological crises, uh, not uh, a coming or, or, or nearing uh, economic crisis. This is here, no. And we just uh, somehow paralyzed. We, we 
are not uh, active enough. And that's the real question. It's not a question anymore that environmental crisis is here. The real question is why aren't we more active in uh, that respect? And why aren't our, our governments uh, more innovative? But in some countries, next slide please, in some countries we, uh, we have uh, witnessed some uh, uh, new solutions. Uh, you see in New Zealand, uh, Israel, uh, in, uh, in New Jersey, in Hungary, uh, possibly in Malta and Wales, and uh, we do hope that in uh, Rio de Janeiro next uh, summer uh, there will be some, some uh, global uh, developments with, with new uh, uh, institutions uh, which could be more effective uh, in raising social awareness, in raising the activity of our fellow citizens and, and introducing uh, new uh, new solutions. Um, and uh, next, slide, next slide, please. Uh, this is uh, a little bit uh, not modest enough. That's my organization. Uh, I, I have one excuse. Uh, they wanted to, to eradicate us uh, in, during the, the new writing, the new drafting, the new uh, constitution uh, earlier this year. And in a desperate moment, we just put together some slides and uh, uh, with, uh, at, at a press conference, we, we showed them. And uh, that was the background. Mm -hmm. But it shows that, uh, and actually at the end of the story, we could convince the government uh, that uh, we reached some uh, results. They, they might not uh, be too happy with that, and, uh, but, but uh, they uh, uh, let, uh, let us uh, work uh, further. Uh, so that's a happy end. Uh, what are the, the uh, cause these are pretty good results. Uh, the government, local government, central government uh, uh, could not solve these uh, environmental crises. But I think an independent institution like an ombudsman or a, uh, it, it doesn't matter how, how does it uh, called. Uh, uh, we had uh, independence from the government and from, from uh, the economic pressure groups and we could uh, solve uh, these, uh, uh, these uh, local and, and regional uh, conflicts. Also we had, not, not alone, we also had almost in all of these cases we had a network. Network of local communities, NGOs, uh, scientists, experts, and that's uh, how these kind of very compound uh, problems should, should be solved. So what I wanted to uh, conclude, um, I think we can uh, go further. Yes, what I wanted to uh, conclude, and that's my last slide, that once we have a system of uh, environmental crises, uh, then individual uh, one-line uh, responses cannot, uh, be, uh, cannot uh, be effective. So we need a system of, uh, of responses. And we, unfortunately, we witness that uh, the governmental level is not the, the most effective in that system. But internationally, we uh, put our hopes into the Rio uh, procedure and locally, we have seen uh, some local initiatives uh, in my presentation and in some earlier presentations. So paradoxically, uh, the two edges, the international and the, the very local uh, level uh, could, uh, could work. And uh, we individuals cannot avoid uh, to, uh, to give some responses because that's a moral issue, moral issue for all of us because we know that uh, our offspring will not forgive us that we killed all the living uh, wild uh, animals uh, and plants. We, we uh, consumed all uh, or the, the, the vast majority of, of, of the resources or we, we made uh, this planet uh, almost unlivable. You know, uh, two, four, six uh, centigrade, centigrade uh, rays of uh, average temperature would lead a disastrous uh, 
to disastrous consequences. So that's a moral issue. And many of us uh, realize that we have to do something, even if others don't. We have to recycle, we have to walk, we have to use public transport, uh, we have to cycle, uh, we have to create uh, form uh, NGOs, uh, support green uh, policies, green politics. We have to confront uh, with, the, uh, with the facts what are around about uh, the, the, the global environmental crisis. And, and we have to demand new system solutions new institutions uh, to make uh, uh, the job instead of uh, the governments if they can't. So that's uh, all we, we can do. Uh, thank you for your attention.